made it to Cape Fowland. Um, on the map it says that there's a seal colony here, so we're going to go see if we can see it. It is raining because we're on the west coast and it's raining all the time now. Um, <laughs> but we're going to still go for a walk and see if we can see them. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to expect. Smelly seals, I guess, but... Some big smelly seals. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan's decided it is too rainy and he is trying to make a poncho out of one of our garbage bags because I borrowed my sister's rain jacket but we don't have one for him yet and so he's gonna wear a plastic bag. Are you even gonna fit it? <laughs> I'm gonna pull a Jim Carrey. Filming me? Yeah. All right. Are you just gonna put it over your head and like not have arms? I doubt my chest is going to fit in this thing. It's <laughs> 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 like a wife beater. <laughs> Gorgeous. And that's what you're going with. <laughs> Let's see how I look. Ready to go, baby? Oh my goodness. Slimy rocks. <laughs> so this is where the seal colony lives sometimes. Oh, there's two cuddling over there. Where? Yeah. They're finding having a wrestle. But yeah, west coast weather right here. Giant waves. This is the biggest wave. Huge waves. waves. You can hear it rumbling. Imagine you could surf those waves, waves from way out there. No thanks. This is like Where's Wally, where the longer you look, the more seals you see. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see them. But they're, they're there, and there's lots of them. Parama and we're gonna do the arch track which I think is only like a K long so it shouldn't be too long but it's supposed to be super pretty. John's been having a nap so he's a bit tired but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's supposed to be a really good walk but nice and short, nothing crazy. What 
could have made the soaring stone bridge and the arching tunnel in this thick rock. Tiny marine organisms, the force of water and most of all time. Millions of years ago, sea creatures lived their lives then fell to what was once the sea floor. Over millennia, they became compressed, forming the 35 million year old limestone around you. This ancient seabed is now 200 meters above sea level due to tectonic movements. Hi. Magnificent Hi. in every sense. The Operara Arch is the largest limestone arch in New Zealand. Mm. And one of three such arches the Operara has carved over the past million years. The Operara Arch is 43 meters high wow. and 79 meters wide and 219 <laughs> meters long as the river flows longer than 2.5 Airbus 3 A380s measured wing to wing. Wow. Look at this pretty little bird. Thing. <laughs> All right, and now we go up here. Up we go, I guess. It's a little bit muddy walking around. But oh, is it pretty. Wow. It's just like a deep, rich color, hey? It's nice and quiet here, but it's quite rapidy up in here. Wow. Wow. That's just incredible. Can you hear the river gushing? It's all amplified off all the stones. What do you think? That's so cool! Oh, and we're going inside. Wow! The amount of work that went into this path, like all the sides are built up with stones, really pretty. Oh, oh that is beautiful! This river still has me shocked though. Just especially because the sand is so white, it's such a stark difference. We are going down the second 
of one of their tracks. They have these cool little signs everywhere with a bunch of fun facts that you could possibly want to know. They're not very long, they're only about a K each, which is super nice. Um, yeah, we'll see what this one's like compared to the other one. All right, where? Up in the mountains. You can just see like a hole through the mountain up there. Oh, you have better eyesight than I do. <laughs> well, we'll have to go and see. Apparently we have to go down there. Are you ready? Hold well, on, I'm going to protect myself from the cave spiders. Cave spiders, cave spiders are real. They can swim. Apparently they can swim. Okay. You, we'll fight some cave spiders. You go first with your torch. And I'll follow you. Oh, this isn't bad. Be careful, don't slip. Yeah. I feel like we're in like Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Is that weird? It's kind That's of so weird. pretty. Wow. <laughs> so much work went into these. Wow. Isn't that just stunning? This way? Wow, this is different from the other one. Each cave we go into is so much different. Much quieter though. This one's super, super quiet compared to the other one. Wow. Oh. And look up. Doing a great old explorer and that's where we came in, up there. things. Yeah. I'm gonna sink in. <laughs> Doesn't smell like anything. So how'd you find that? It was pretty bloody cold, if you ask me. Oh, it was fine when you first started getting in, but then it just got really, really, really cold. <laughs> you just wouldn't expect a huge hole to be here. It's just incredible. So cool. Now our little excursion is over and we're going back up the hole. We feel the wind! Woo! We made it! We made it alive! And we are at our camping site for the night. So I'll show you how we pay. So these are dock campsites. So it is a whopping eight dollars each. <laughs> And you go into here and you fill out one of these and you put your money in and then you put it in there. And that's all there is to it. The 
water's so rough that everything just like turns brown. Everything's like soft edges, edged. Smooth. Almost looks like bone, but it's just a piece of stick. Cooking dinner. I'm cooking dinner, and Jordan gets to go out fishing. Where's the fun in that? You want to go fishing? No, not necessarily. Not really. <laughs> you didn't even put the hook on. He's gonna try and go drone fishing. Even more extra. We'll see how it goes. <laughs>